All right, so that is two freezers emptied, one freezer restocked, and a whole lot of stuff still to go into freezers. But isn't that exciting? We actually shut off the fourth freezer only a month and a half after the goal. But still, I'm very impressed with that. But we still have a lot of work to do to see if we can get it all back into the two freezers that are left. So next step, of course, is emptying this third freezer, which should be full of mostly vegetables. And then there'll be some, well, actually quite a bit of rabbit. And I'm not sure what else. So let's open it up and find out. collect rogue vegetable stuff that's in here and get that out first and then see what we're left with there's a lot of vegetable stuff i just found a whole bunch more eggplant so i think more eggplant curry we'll link the recipe video above because we love it around here so the nice thing about this freezer similar to the last one i had organized it at the beginning of the freezer challenge. I say organized very loosely, but we've gone through a few things and most of this will be staying in here, except for our vegetables and that, which I want to take to the upstairs freezer where we can use them more regularly and easily accessible, right? So we're gonna get everything out of here. The meat's all gonna just stay in the house on the floor. We're gonna get all the rest of the stuff taken upstairs and then we'll come back organized as to what's coming back into this freezer and what's going upstairs. But hopefully this freezer is going to end up with rabbit, goose, butter, <laughs> and some rogue vegetables. Let's see how we do. All right, so the freezer downstairs, that last one had a bit more ice in it. It is an old freezer. It's much older than our other one. So while we're waiting for that to melt enough that we can chisel it out and I know this isn't the best time to be doing it or the right way necessarily to be defrosting your freezer but we're in a time crunch here so it works for us with putting stuff outside but while that one is melting a little bit we're going to start putting our fruit and veg back into this upstairs freezer here and see where we're at because I'm really excited all right, so we're starting off with this freezer, the 24 pounds of tomatoes that were outside in the freezer out there. They're at the bottom because I have no intention of canning those anytime soon. And the other thing that's going at the bottom is these garlic scape scraps. And what we use these for is actually to make homemade bug repellent for in the garden during the season. So again, we're not going to need these until June and hopefully some of this freezer will be emptied by then. <laughs> so again, going to the bottom. All right, so stay there. <laughs> These here are our, they're not mile long. What are they called? Snake gourds. Snake gourds. Uh, we use snake gourds. We didn't grow them last year, so they're actually from 2022. Oh my goodness, I think we have a problem. So this is a snake gourd plant. It's a single plant, just one seed. We actually planted 10, only one came up. Look at that beauty there, curling down and around. It's probably close to four feet. This one, again, three feet long, wasn't here the other day. There's another little cutie started. We actually have decided we want to pick them at this size, but I'm gonna keep these in because I use them instead of zucchini in my Italian zucchini stew. So they're gonna go to the bottom because again, I don't plan on canning that anytime soon, but at least I know where they are. We have quite a few bags still of our summer squash. Oh my gosh, there's actually five bags in here. This one's looking a little freezer burnt, so I'm gonna put that one on the top. But we're basically just gonna make a mountain pile here of summer squash. This is our last bag of peppers, so we need to do some more peppers this year because every year we say more peppers because we use a lot of them. That's going to be on top. Stay for now. There's another bag of our summer squash. 
Ah, here's the one I was looking for. Turnip. To be honest, I have no intention of using this. We keep hanging on to it, but none of us like turnip as turnip. So I'm not really sure what we're saving it for, but it's gonna go to the bottom. The freezer upstairs is organized. It's very, very full. There's not a lot of leeway here. There's no room for purchases. It's all stocked with things we're gonna be using on a regular basis, like the fruit for smoothies, the vegetables, some of those items that we wanted to get used up. So now that this freezer up here is all stocked, we brought in most of the stuff from out on the porch. It is time to get down and fill up that third freezer. So we have a tower of rabbit. The bottom box actually has all of our rabbit furs, so there's not as much meat in there. And then we have a full crate of meat plus a bunch of rogue ones. Not as much rabbit as I thought we had, to be honest. So we managed to combine all that lamb into one container, sort of. And uh, that's in the middle here, but that actually needs to be used before the stuff in the other freezer. Then we've got kind of our rogue box here. As you can see, it has all of our butter and a little bit of rabbit meat. Uh, those are just there for the moment because they were melting really badly. But what I'm putting in here now is our pork and venison. This again needs to be used fast. So I'm gonna set it right on top of the lamb like that. So this whole center section here is old. By old, I mean, we haven't had big pigs in six years at least. <laughs> and there's still pork and pork hocks and things like that in here. And the venison was given to us years ago. So that needs to be used. And I know these sheep down here, these, these ones with the bones are at least five to six years old because I labeled them with their weights and I haven't done that in years. So this section here is real priority, priority. So we're back in the first big freezer. <laughs> And we're emptying it. No, I'm just kidding. We're taking the geese and putting them with all the goose meat in this freezer. Which does leave us a nice little pocket to hopefully get the rest of the lamb in that. All right, so this freezer is about to get sealed up. This is all lamb meat and chickens that were put away really good and sealed. So we're gonna eat from the other freezer first and I'll show you why. All right, so we've gotten quite a bit in here. Look at the space. I still have one more bag yet to go in, but I wanted to show you here. So what we have in the center is stuff that needs to be eaten first. You can see this chicken, we didn't vacuum seal it. It's not going to keep as long as those ones that we did vacuum seal. So even though it's younger, we just kind of bunged it in. Then we have some real old guys. This is our old Chanticleer from 2021. We have some that the vacuum sealing just didn't go well so these this freezer really has so this freezer really has kind of become a catch-all sort of it's got everything that really needs to be eaten up quite quickly as far as meat is concerned whether it was chicken rabbit lamb it's kind of in this center section this is going to be our go-to for a little bit of a while and then we have some things that really just need to be made into jam another thing that we have here that i didn't talk about upstairs was our lamb milk replacer we always have this on stock, so this is in the freezer until closer to lambing time, just in case we need it. Otherwise, I am so impressed. One more bag to go, and then we'll show you the final results, all right? So this bag is pretty much rogue stuff that didn't fit in the one upstairs. We did put some of those cheeses up there, but we ended up finding 12 of them, so half went upstairs, half are down. And then we have all of our shredded summer squash for um, making breads. Same thing with these bananas for banana bread. We just had too many to kind of r randomly throw in upstairs. So I'm leaving that in a bag and it's gonna sit on top here. And again, hopefully we'll get through some of this pretty quick. So realistically guys, we did it. We are down to three freezers, three. It's awesome. And what's even awesomer, we actually had a little bit of room left over. Now, don't get me wrong, there's not a lot of room, but there was a little bit, so that is pretty impressive. We're gonna keep chugging through these over the next couple weeks. Uh, we're going to be maybe focusing more on cooking out of the freezer instead of eating from the pantry because we really need to use up a lot of this stuff that's in here. So stay tuned for that coming up. And we'll 
we'll see. Maybe by summer we could be down to two freezers right in time to start filling them all up again.